how much of that crap is real? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I love how that much you said crap stage? because it's yeah. what it is. Right. Oh, yeah. um, I'll just Literally. say it. So, yeah, I would say with as much as I can answer this without getting fined. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, was, not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to like, get an invoice. Or, or, uh, I guess they're like, mm. yeah. you might get a second call from the bachelor. Yeah. That's right. not as they're good. like, Elijah, um, we need you to fly out to LA. <laughs> right. This is ABC for the right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I would say, like, at the end of the day, no one can make you do anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think what I saw was there was a lot of situations where if you aren't extremely rooted and grounded mm. in your values and in what you believe and in who you are, it's very easy when there's voices in your head, you know, telling you to do something or mm-hmm. asking something of you that you may not even be comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Right. And I saw a lot of people you know, kind of fall into that and change themselves in order to be, I don't know, more liked or to get a rose or whatever the case may be. But I think something that I was so thankful for was, you know, I came into it. My relationship with Jesus was so strong. And so for me, it wasn't like I was hoping I had what it like took, you know, it was like, I mean, I'm just loving the Lord. I'm just living my life and just staying true to who I am. But I definitely think that if you're on the fence of like, who am I? What do I believe? Mm -hmm. Then you get in an environment like that. And it's so easy to just conform cave to absolutely whatever. So I think it's, it's more of not even like, is this real or not real? I think it's more of just like people are constantly telling you to do stuff. And if you don't really know what you want to do or who you are, you're just going to do it. You yeah. gotta be rooted. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Exactly. 